Today we're focusing on a bit of a different one, but one that I still feel will provide a lot of value and help a lot of you out, especially if you're new to the gym or you're sort of still in that introductory phase of the gym. Now, we're going to be focusing on three things I wish I knew when I first started the gym. So I've been training for quite a while now, and obviously when I first started the gym, there's a lot of things that if I knew that I knew now, I would have made a lot more progress. So kicking off with lesson number one is the free weights. Now, the free weights is something that, believe it or not, guys do struggle with intimidation as well. I was 15 when I had my first session there, and I remember going into the free weight session, there was this one guy, I can't remember fully what it looked like, but he was absolutely stacked. I literally felt like this. And the problem with that is that everybody in the free weights gym is there for the same reason. No matter how big, how small, whatever sport they're competing, everybody is there for the same reason. Nobody's there to judge you. Nobody's there to sort of look at what you're doing and potentially laugh or you know do anything negative. Everybody's there just to be the best version of themselves. And the reason why I wanted to put that in sort of as the first lesson of this is that most people let intimidation and their own barriers stop them from making progress. You know, I was very intimidated to use the barbells, the dumbbells, but when I sort of let go of that stigma and realised that nobody really cared, I was able to go into the free weights, I was able to go and use all areas of that gym and actually start making more progress. So that personally helped me a lot and I feel like it would help a lot of you guys as well. Number two is the people around you. Now, this isn't sort of a notion to sort of ditch whoever you're training with, but for me, a true driving force of when I started to make more progress was I started training with people bigger than me, stronger than me, or at least more advanced than me. Or better yet, I at least became more open-minded to new training methodologies, looking at people that have been training around me for a lot longer, and I started learning more. You know, it's very easy at times that when you train with your friends, for example, you have a training partner, you're both new to the gym, one advances a lot more further. You can sort of become complacent. You can feel like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the big guy. I'm, I've, I, you know, I have no reason to train hard. I've sort of reached the pinnacle point now. And the fact of that is, is that you're just going to set yourself a lot of parameters and you're not going to reach your true potential. When I started training with people, and this is still very much something that I do now, when I train with people that are a lot more advanced than me, a lot more stronger, bigger than me, and they have advanced more of the goals that I'm trying to achieve, it allows me to raise the standards of which I train, hold myself up, and ultimately make more progress. So again, look at the people that you're training with and start holding yourself to a higher standard. And then the third one is just simple logbooking. Now, when I was young, I was very naive. I used to think that, you know, if you walked around the gym with a logbook, I was, I was very, I was unaware of what I was, and I didn't know the, the meaning behind it. I thought it was quite funny. I thought it was quite weird. Um, and I never understood the benefits of that. I just used to sort of go in, win a lot of sessions, and ultimately my entire introduction to training was you can't hit a target you can't see. I wanted to get bigger, but I was just going into the gym, lifting things, putting stuff up, putting them down again. There was no structure to it. When I started using a logbook, I had structure. And for me, you guys know that, or those that know me personally, I hold myself to high standards. I expect a lot of myself. The logbook, for me, it creates a mental game on myself. I go into sessions now, you know, when I'm next back in the gym, I know what numbers I need to be hitting, I know what lifts I need to be doing, and I've got this, I even use a multicolour pen, so as soon as I get a PB, I write it down in green. For me, I like to go into the sessions, it's those little small wins, you know, I get to write down in the green ink. If you can really use a logbook to maximise your training potential, you will make a lot more progress, and for me, that's exactly what a logbook did. I have more structure, I know exactly how to get stronger, I know exactly how to make progress, I can most importantly manage it, therefore measure it. You know, since using a logbook, everything is literally 10x, so... Um, you know, logbooking is extremely beneficial.